Hello and welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I shared some ideas of Easter gift boxes that you can make using some uh, already made to assemble boxes, like for example, these here that I found in a, no in a local shop. And there are also versions on Amazon that I will link down in the description. But then if you, for example, have a last moment gift, there are other possibilities of things that I wanted to share that you can make with zero budget, so to speak. And yesterday I also found these here, they're made of paper and they gave me the idea that actually it should be possible to make a DIY version of these, so to speak. So those who already know me, they know that I love these different kind of punch boards from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. It's basically a one-time investment and then you can use this board to make a variety of different boxes. This is an envelope punch board, but, but you can also make XXL boxes. I will leave all the videos down in the description where I go over this. This is the gift box punch board. Then I have a candy box punch board, also very cute. This is the pillow box punch board. And then I have this gift bag punch board. And then there's also a little one, the tag punch board. There are more of these, but these are popular ones. So what I did, I went on Canva and then I just chose a pattern that would fit to Easter. But you can also use like a little bit of thick, thicker paper that you get in a craft store and then use it. But if you don't have it, then you can just print it out on a slightly thicker paper. I will leave links, all the materials and all the tools that I'm using here in the description box for you to check out if you are interested. This is the design blocks I was talking to you about, but you can see this is more like a maybe a fall type paper that doesn't necessarily fit to Easter, yeah, maybe this one, you know, and, but then you can, you can create, you don't need to have like, a, per se, an Easter type of design paper. And by the way, if you don't have all these tools here, there's not a problem because I'm going to show you another version of a gift box that you can make just with paper and scissors. This is the trim and scoreboard. It's very practical if you need to trim something. So here I will start with a candy box. And then I'm not gonna go very much into details, but here the good thing about the V of Memory Keepers products is that you always have the instructions right on the board so you don't have to search for it or store it somewhere. That's very, very practical. So I'm gonna trim the paper according to the instructions here and then show you one possibility of a nice Easter gift box. So I'm just gonna use a type of adhesive here on this side. And then here, it's like a little candy. You could also add a ribbon here at the end. That's what I'm gonna do. Just to make everything come together. I'm going to tie a bow here, I'm just making a knot and then cutting it to trim it a little bit. That's the first possibility. Next punch board that I would like to try is this pillow box. Also the instructions are on the board, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the paper to the required measurements here. Thank you. 
second really cool little possibility you could also add a ribbon here around it if you wanted to or a little sticker saying happy easter i had some made last year really cool another possibility here using the gift bag punch board of course you could perforate here and, and add some ribbons to it to make really a bag or you could just use it like this and add a sticker to it for example like so now let's say you don't have the we are memory keeper punch boards now there is something that i would like to show you how you can easily make your own DIY gift boxes just using a printer and some paper. I created some masks and then printed it out. And for those who are my patrons, you can get the free PDF that you can print out and you can also get it as a template so that you can customize it within Canva. These are um, templates that I made using Canva. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. So I'm just going to fold these sides here. Crease it a little bit so it's going to be easier to assemble it. Gonna go ahead and add a piece to these flaps here and bring it together just like so. You know, in my opinion, I think a handmade packaging makes a handmade product even more special, you know, because it's just very unique. Look how cute this is. And then hide your goodies in here. This is another variation. And then speaking of carrots. You know, the very original packaging. Let's add some adhesive to this pill here. Hold the box together this whole punch here all right why not huh here's another possibility what you could do just add it to a cellophane bag a ribbon and then i cut out a little easter egg you could also cut out other things like a little easter bunny or something saying happy easter anything really and then you have something really special in a nice little package i hope you really enjoyed this video and i hope it gave you some ideas or inspiration for your own gift boxes not only for easter of course if you are interested in other videos around the making of soap please check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more also feel free to subscribe and see you soon bye bye